Welcome hey. to the Hollywood, What's the up? hottest radio talk show in the nation with Jordan Morona, yeah. Dave Waugh, you know it, and special guest Mallory Dempster. We got a great Ooh, show for you today, yeah. including for the first time ever on the Hollywood fashion. That's right. Oh. That's why we have Mallory in here with us. Best and worst dressed at the AMA is coming up. Our fashion tips of the week. That's true. And of course, don't forget what's hot in the Hollywood is also hot on the Hollywood. Yeah. We will get you caught up in mm. all of the latest gossip and action coming up on the, the Hollywood. Hollywood. Woo! So Mallory, on to the fashion. Sure. What is it that you specifically do? Well, I am a publicist. Um, I work under a firm as a freelance agent. And uh, basically, I do who's wearing what, if they're wearing it the right way, when they're wearing it, how they're wearing it, product placement. So it's identity. mainly like celebrities that we're talking about? Yeah, it's mostly celebrity yeah. um, clientele base as well as company-wide bases mm-hmm. as well. I mean, Let me ask you this question. <laughs> do people who don't dress for success, like myself, maybe Dave That's on the correct. weekends, That's it. do those people make you ill? <laughs> no, I, I mean, I've seen re- some really, really bad stuff. But for the most part, around, especially living in L.A., everyone's so yeah. fashion savvy, or at least tries to be. Yeah. When you try too hard, that's when it's even funnier. Than I mean, can you can you be friends with people who don't dress well? Yeah. Yes, I'm not that shallow. <laughs> no, I was just wondering. I mean, it, you know, if this is your profession. No, it's it's not. Yeah, I can be friends with people that. So are you one of those girls that when you like hanging out with your girl, you're like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe she wore that. Are you? Are you do you just confront the girl, or you just kind of like just smig her on the side? No, no, I don't confront her, but I just I know what's up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so. not gonna call her out, but <laughs> like me, me and my roommates, you know, whatever, we give each other advice, but. I'm not going to go up to a perfect stranger and be like, look, girl, you best be changing something up because it's not working. <laughs> yeah, I have no day, idea. I, I have a suit. I have, I have suit? like No, I have I have like five different He's suits. He's got one suit. He turns and he flips it inside I have, out. <laughs> I have five different suits and I have like oh, I have a lot of button down shirts and then just yeah. a tie. Okay. Yeah. Well, one tie that I wear constantly. A tailored suit is a tailored suit. So you <laughs> go and you yeah. get it. It's it's a little slimmer fitting. It's slimmer fitting because it fits you perfectly. Is that what we're getting? Yeah, at? and so. Yeah. But I've had all of my suits tailored, but they're not they're not tight. They're definitely not tight. Well, you you can you can make them tight. I don't want them tight. Okay. Well, then yeah. don't make them tight. <laughs> I don't want my suits tailored. <laughs> so all I will right, never. Face closed on that one. I will face never closed. be wearing a skinny tie. AMAs. Consistently through all the best dress that I mm-hmm. chose, was that they had this um, sheer. Mixed with a lace. What what does sheer mean? What does sheer mean? You can see through it. Oh, so okay. you like see through? Dave, right. you like see through? I love Loves, see through. I bet he does love see through. I definitely love see through. And then also at the bottom, mm-hmm. it's sort of like a cutoff, so it cuts mm-hmm. right here, and then it's uh, like right by the thigh area, it mm-hmm. cuts, and then it's sheer from the oh, thigh okay. down to the ga- you know the rest. So of the what gap. is that? It's kind of like an uh, uh, a look of a bed sheet. It's like, yeah, it's like it an elegant. Sheet. It's like an elegant bed, bed sheet. Bed sheet. Definitely. Yeah. As we talked about, millions celebrating Thanksgiving festivities yesterday. Angelina Jolie was not one of them, electing not to commemorate the genocide of Native Americans, as she stated. Angelina Jolie absolutely hates this holiday and wants no part in rewriting history like so many other Americans. A friend of the actress told Pop Eater. Um, Angelina, it's a valid point. I think we are uh, commemorating... The genocide of millions of Native Americans. It's a valid point, but the food just tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I see where she's coming from. I am Cherokee Indian, but isn't that a little... Like, I mean, it is true. Yeah. Yeah. It is true what, what Americans did. She stands by what she took believes. Took over Native so, American yeah. land. Yeah. It's technically true. It's yeah. just the food tastes so good. Food tastes so good. 2010 biggest turkeys so far, and that means basically the people who suck the most <laughs> in, in 2010. In a nutshell. Let's see if we agree. Top 10 biggest turkeys. Number 10, Barack Obama. Oh. oh. Number nine, Jake Pavelka, the Bachelor, two times oh, ago. Yeah. Yeah. Number eight, the Kardashians. <laughs> oh wow. And number seven, LeBron James. Mm. Number mm. six, Spencer Pratt. Oh. Five. Dancing with the Stars voters. Basically all <laughs> I of Middle America. completely agree. Yeah. <laughs> Number four, Lindsay Lohan. Mm-hmm. Number three, Charlie Sheen. Oh, man. Number two, Starkey. Mel Gibson. And yeah. a guess for number one, anyone? I would say Mel Gibson's ex-wife, Ascana. 
No. no. How would she be number one? Come on, number one. We've <laughs> She's got She's always in the news. I've I... got it. I already know. What do you think? Tiger Woods. Bang! She oh, got it. That's biggest right. turkey. How'd you do that? <laughs> it's it's written in front of me. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> she cheated. Yeah, no, she, she cheated. cheated. Somebody that they forgot on this list, who is our next story. Kanye oh, West. Yes, he he needs... should have been number one. Yeah. I mean, this Are guy... you kidding me? Check this out. Kanye goes insane while he's performing yeah. and possibly compares Matt Lauer to a child abuser. Let me pull this up for you and we'll play just a little bit of this. Here's Kanye West at his concert. We have such a great win. Matt Lauer's not a bad guy, I'm sure. But if you are a child that's being abused by your parent or you're a girl being abused by your boyfriend, greatest win that you can ever have is for that person to hit you in public. You see, you see, I told you. Because every time I went on stage, there was no way to justify it. There was no way for me to justify it. Play the chords lower, play the chords lower. Play the chords lower. <laughs> what was that? That's what I'm saying. No Justice Taylor never came to my defense. You hear that? Any Taylor, listen, never listen. came to my defense. the wave and rolled it and rode it. That's the way I rode the wave of the Bush comment. I rode it. It's what? Ah, oh, that's enough. Moving on, Sarah Palin mixes up the difference between North and South Korea. On a related note to that, former Miss Universe Alicia Machado explains in a tweet, tonight, I want you to join me in a prayer about the attacks happening between the Chinas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Doesn't work That's his <laughs> The three bedroom Manhattan apartment she shared with Kelsey prior to their separation was too small. Now, is Camille talking about the three bedroom or is she referring to Kelsey Grammer? All right, let's do a quick rundown of sports last night. Scores, sports, the big yeah, stories last night in the yeah. NBA. The Lakers show the Lakers lose to the Utah Jazz. Kobe throws in 31, but the Lakers don't score for the last two minutes and 30 seconds. And Darren Williams from the Utah Jazz hits a clutch three to seal it as the Lakers lose their third of the season. They are 13-3 and three now. Miami stops their three-game losing skid in the NBA as the big three combines for 61. So title hopes are still alive in South Beach. Dallas snaps San Antonio's 12-game winning streak with 26 from Dirk. Number four, Boise State in college football with title hopes on their faces lose to Nevada and can kiss those hopes goodbye. Their first regular season loss since 2007, and that was a great game. Number two, Auburn with a crazy comeback down 24-7 to in the third comeback and win 28-24 versus Alabama. Anyone have a duck for Thanksgiving? I actually did. Wow. I swear. I did not think we were going to yeah. receive so that response. Yeah. Yes, no. I did. I had a turkey dinner, and then I, I went home, and my neighbors cooked a duck. And he's an wow. executive chef, and it was delicious. And number one, the Oregon duck, <laughs> speaking of that, Got can, a little off topic. Can, <laughs> continued to uh, dominate versus Arizona, 48-29. to 29. Their 10th time in 11 games, going over 42 points. Unbelievable. Some good games in the NFL coming up this weekend. And some good Thanksgiving ball, which already occurred, especially in New Orleans. New Orleans coming back to beat the boys 30-27. to Games of the week coming up. Check out San Diego at Indianapolis this weekend and Green Bay at Atlanta. I'm taking Indianapolis and the Packers. My closing and final thought to the, for the day, uh, I only got, I got what this thing is kind of like Jerry Springer. Um, if a guy holding a gun has no arms, does it make him arm and dangerous? <laughs> Something to think about. I, I'm speechless, man. I don't know really what to say either. Well, excuse me for being retarded. Guys, thank you so much for listening <laughs> to The Hollywood. Jordan Morona, David Waugh, and special guest Mallory Dempster, who is thank here you, as our yeah. very own fashion publicist. Guys, yeah. this is the hottest radio show in the nation. It's The Hollywood.